Florida is backed by our exclusive price protection guarantee. Look close, and you can find the same new Honda for less within five days. Norm Reed will tell you that difference will buy your vehicle back. When difference is standard, you are not the top anywhere. Visit our super award-winning Norm Reed Honda Super location in Huntington Beach, West Covina, the Urban Auto Center, and the number one auto store in the world. In the and the bridge can also the battery of the year. You'll find everything you need to brighten up your home or make your workplace more comfortable. And the best part is that it's all in stock and ready for immediate delivery. So no waiting. Now during Court Furniture Up at Black Friday event, you'll save on a new selection of upholstery, including new Italian leather sofas and sleepers, dining set, bedroom set, and mattresses, plus great deals on office furniture. Comfortable mesh back office chairs originally $249, now only $59. Rugs for $50, accent pillows $5, and all our work 50% off. Come in today and discover why Court Furniture Outlet has been the secret destination of designers, home stagers, and business professionals for over 40 years. With locations in Glendale and Central, in Corona at the 91 and McKinley, and now Fountain Valley at Newport and the 405. Check them out on Yelp or go to courtfurnitureoutlet.com. That's C-O-R-T furnitureoutlet.com. Well, you heard me talk about my friends at Sunday and how they can sell your home fast without any repairs, without the hassle of dealing with selling, realtors, cleaning, or Making now Sunday has made the process even easier for those who want to sell a property fast. Contact Sunday for your free no obligation cash offer. They're going to give you your property, take photos, and do a 3D walkthrough. They'll talk to your property details and send it to the thousands of local investors in their database who are actively looking to buy property. The average homeowner receives 12 offers on their property. It's quick and easy. Plus, you can close in as little as 10 days or they have the flexibility to close in months. They can even give you a $10,000 cash advance when you sell with Sunday. Go to Sunday.com, S-U-N-D-A-E dot com, or phone them, 825 offer, 825 offer. Get a free notification cash offer at Sunday.com, S-U-N-D-A-E dot com. Sunday's California license is safe for DRE license number 020-88298. I've had three cousins pass away from COVID-19. One of them, I was very close to. These guys taught me how to get on the line as a football player. What I think to do with. My part-time service in the Army National Guard makes it possible for me to be more for the community I call home. I'm a better neighbor because my service has taught me how important it is to be a team player. My training helps me in my classes when I give attention to detail to the task at hand. My service in the Army National Guard allows me to keep my country safe from threat. To learn more about how you too can live and serve part-time by visiting NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the California Army National Guard. Aired by the California Broadcasters Association and this station. Portions of the following program will be recorded. My uncle got married. He did potluck. He did potluck. He did. And my mom was <laughs> looking over the table and it was all in Tupperware. And I'm like, what's going on in here? They like, oh, it's a pop-up wedding. No, it's not. <laughs> not anymore. That's what he wanted. Not anymore. The Tim Conway Jr. show. You know, if you're doing a potluck wedding, we say, maybe it's time to postpone the wedding. <laughs> on KFI. <laughs> Yeah, right. Johnny Ted Jones, KFI, 8M640, live everywhere in the iHeartRadio app. Now it's like Alex Stone at ABC News, uh, Judy Short Straw, covering the Thanksgiving travel number. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Three o'clock. The bad update. Steve Gregory coming around to give us an update on the smash and grab robbery at the Grove that occurred the other night where they uh, smashed their way into a Nordstrom's after hours and took some boots that they did arrest three people at the police station. We'll get all the details that he has been able to pick up on that story uh, next hour. It's Costas on time. It's going on right now because of you, Chef Bruno's charity. 
now provides over 25,000 meals to children in need every week across Southern California. Oh, yeah. To help, you donate. Go to PostaSon.com. And the percentage of your donation goes to Katarina's Park, 100%. And you can also stop at any Smart and Final store in California, Arizona, and Nevada. At checkout, you can donate. $10 or more provides at least 14 meals to kids courtesy of Barilla Pasta. You can also drop your pasta and sauce donations at the Anaheim White House restaurant now through December 4th, next week, uh, from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. each day. You don't have to get out of your car. Volunteers are there to collect your donations. You can also find another pasta and sauce drop-off location near you at pastafan.com. The big events will kick off with Tim Conway Jr. broadcasting live on Tuesday, which is Giving Tuesday, November 30th, from 6 to 10 at Anaheim White House. Right. Uh, so I mentioned this earlier in the hour. Um, Dr. Fauci, this is what I refer to as the moving goalpost when it comes to trying to keep up with the, quote, medical professionals and the latest conventional wisdom on COVID-19. Look, we start with the idea that, all right, this does kill a small percentage of people. We know that. So protect them. And if you can't protect them, let's get treatments and vaccines. Well, it turns out the treatment to, I thought that was going to be the fastest road. That went a little slower, and we're still waiting to see how that shakes out. But eventually, vaccines appeared on the scene. And it looked like uh, the world was going to get rescued here in 2021. Although, if you haven't heard the news by now, more people have died in 2021 from COVID-19 than in 2020, which apparently has become a sore talking point for the Biden administration because when Biden was running against Trump, he looked at the number of COVID deaths and said, you shouldn't be president if that's happening. Well, there's more under your watch, so there. Oh, but the Delta variant has reared its ugly head. That's changed the ball because the vaccine. Well, back to the vaccine. As we found out the hard way, no matter what vaccine you got, they're not going to protect you fully. You can still get COVID-19. You can still get some symptoms. Chances are much greater, though, that you will die. But they tend to sort of wear out. There's anywhere from three months, four months, five months, six months. Who the hell knows? We're still too early in the game to know this. Just like the people that don't want to be vaccinated are concerned about the long-term effects. We don't even know exactly how long and how much protection we're getting from the vaccine. Sure, we have real-world data. We've got so many people all over the planet that have gotten the vaccines, and that's what we draw the data from. But it's still, what's the word that they usually use to describe this? It's still in process. It's still something that we need to digest and evaluate. But in the meantime, reporters want to know because the worried well. They want to know. They want to know what's the latest. What can you tell me? So. What I mean by the moving goalpost is now the definition of fully vaccinated, which we took to mean if you got Pfizer or Moderna, two shots. If you got J and J, one shot. Well, Fauci yeah. was pressed about this a lot in the last few weeks because the booster shots have shown up, as we have learned, that with Pfizer and to some extent Moderna, the effectiveness of the vaccine does kind of wear out over a certain number of months. So that's why everyone was told to get a booster shot, a third shot. Does that change the definition of being fully vaccinated? Does that mean when that becomes official, in order to go certain places, like in the city of LA to get into restaurants? And have you gone to any place yet, Deborah Mark, you to show vaccine proof? Or? Yes, one place. One place? If you're more in LA than I am. Cheesecake factory. <laughs> and I went to go get my avocado toast. Uh, to dine in? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, so let's just, I mean, it's not a difficult process, but still, I uh, I encountered that. I went to Hawaii, and I encountered that at one restaurant. I felt bad about doing it because I got to see the vaccine proof. And don't forget part two, right, Devil Your ID. Your ID. You have to show your photo ID on top of that. I don't pull anything out. I've been doing that because I go to SoFi Stadium to see the Rams, and you, you got to go to all that rigmarole because it's all a larger crowd. But how long before I have to show proof of the third shot? And I'm having difficulty getting mine digitally. I went to a, one of the pharmacies to get the booster shot, and they sent me back a link, and eventually I got a link back from the same company that produced my first digital vaccine proof, but I, I can't get it to work. Oh, no. It's saying, yeah, I, I click the link, and I put in my information, my birthday, and I click and it goes, eh, no such record found. I'm like, eh, no, 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 no. So, I mean, 
I'm going to deal with that if the time comes that I have to show vaccination proof for a third shot. But really, then there's the fourth shot, the fifth shot. Is this really what it's going to become? I know we have an annual flu shot anyway, but if COVID becomes one of these things for every six months, we have to get another booster shot. Just come on. All right, coming up next, Alex Stone from ABC News. And we'll talk about the travel report for the Thanksgiving holiday. Johnny Ken Show on KFI. Deborah Mark has the news now. Wishing a happy Thanksgiving to some of you. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. KFI. And KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the Air Radio app. Guilty verdict sums up remark live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. A jury in Georgia has convicted all three white men charged with killing an unarmed black jogger. The first verdict were for the man who shot and killed Ahmad Arbery. We, the jury, find the defendant, Travis McMichael, guilty. Oh, that outburst from Arbery's father prompted Judge Timothy Walmsley to ask he be removed from the courtroom. Arbery was killed in February of last year. Defense lawyers argued their clients had been concerned about crime in their neighborhood and were trying to make a citizen's arrest because they thought Arbery was a burglar. Arbery's mom says she never thought this day would come. But God is good. Yes, yes, yes. And I just want to tell everybody, thank you, thank you. LAPD Chief Moore says a lot has to be done to stop smash and grab and follow home robberies, most of which are happening in broad daylight. Moore says he needs more staff, foot patrols, and horse patrols as a deterrent. I'm also calling upon the criminal justice system to weigh fully and, and forcefully in, in the prosecution uh, and to ensure that these individuals are not back out on the street in some short order. Moore says he's also seen an alarming number of ghost guns on the street. The chief added that judicial reforms such as Prop 47, 57, and AB 109 need a refresh. L.A. Mayor Garcetti says the city is ramping up its production to build housing for the homeless. The mayor says with $1.2 billion in construction funding, the city has more than tripled its production of supported housing units from about 300 to 1,000 a year. You might have heard some things like it's slow and costly and not coming in. Those are falsehoods. Garcetti says the city will have broken ground on 43 housing projects by the end of the year. He says the goal is not to address or manage homelessness, but to end it. Blake Trolley, KFI News. A landscaping company in Murrieta says it needs more time to meet a recent state law banning the sale of new small gas-powered engines by 2024. There really is no Tesla of Walmart. McCabe Landscape Construction President Melissa McCabe Navaroli says electric batteries are too expensive and don't exist for commercial use. The companies that follow the laws and the regulations will potentially be put out of business. Coalition for Clean Air Policy Director Bill McGavern says the electric option is much quieter than the noisy blowers and off-road engines. This category of engines produces more pollution than all of the cars on the road in California combined. The California Air Resources Board will decide next Next month, how the phase-out process will work. In L.A., Corbin Carson, KFI News. The CHP says officers will be out for maximum enforcement to keep the roads safe this Thanksgiving weekend. Last year, for Thanksgiving, they in theory, maximum enforcement story starts on that Wednesday and ends on that Sunday. Uh, we had 33 people die on the roadway in these two jurisdictions that were not wearing seatbelts. CHP Southern Division Officer Jose Barrio says there were almost 900 arrests for DUI last Thanksgiving weekend, despite multiple ride-sharing alternatives. He says officers will be scouring the roadways this year for speeders and distracted drivers and specifically for people driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol. And the annual dinner in the park in Pasadena has again been changed to take out only because of the pandemic. Union Station Homeless Services, Dana Beans, as many people in the community say rising food prices have been a challenge. We've definitely seen an increase. We were initially expecting to serve about 3,000 meals. Um, and now that we are rolling it out, we're looking at between last week and this week, uh, closing in on 4,500 meals. It's slow on the 110 in South LA. So looking at these northbound delays and they're just stacking up, leaving the 105 freeway, taking you all the way to the 5. Southbound slowing also served up, leaving the 5 freeway looking a lot better once you make your way past Manchester Avenue. And then, of course, you've got some more slowing ahead from the 91 approaching the 405. Let's check out Corona with Mike O'Brien. Hey, FI in the Sky, sponsored by Injury Attorney, Superwoman, Superlawyer.com. Well, Angel, the Corona crawl is on, that's for sure. Everything's getting away for the big holiday. Looks like that 91 East down there. Pretty little problem around McKinley, but the bottom line is it is going to be jammed from the 57, most of the way to Green River. A little gap of a mile or so, and then back on the brakes to the 71 all the way to Riverside. 
Then, of course, the big story is getaway traffic. Everybody's trying to get out of town. The 15 northbound, that jams up away from the 210 all the way up to the 138. A lot of folks coming out of the high desert. 15 southbound loading up at Summit. That's going to be the tough through the 138 as well. And also further down the line towards San Diego County, 15 southbound, very tough from the 91 down through Cajalco. Incident and accident, visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com. Mike O'Brien, KFI in the sky. Sun Valley, the five northbound slowing down at Langerson, taking you ahead to Cal Grove. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Angel Martinez. This hour of the John and Ken Show is brought to you by AIS, auto insurance specialist. Visit AISinsurance.com today. Imagine addressing years or even decades of hair loss in just one day. I know from my experience with advanced hair that the impact on your confidence and quality of life will be profoundly life-changing. Now see, before I went to advanced hair, my bald spots seemed to only get bigger. I did endless research, but nothing was guaranteed to work. After discovering advanced hair's rating reviews online, I learned that no one has more experience and they use breakthrough technology that is guaranteed to grow your new hair. Today my own natural hair is growing back where I was balding for years and advanced hair made it incredibly simple and easy. So do what I did and schedule your free consultation today. 844-333-HAIR. Advanced hair's exceptional standard of care always exceeds the CDC guidelines making this the perfect time to address your hair loss once and for all. Plus, get $250 off and 250 free hair grafts. That's 844-333-HAIR. Or for before and after pictures, go to advancedhair.com. That's advancedhair.com. Have you ever asked yourself what you would do with a million dollars? It's Shannon here to tell you about how you can become an instant millionaire during the million dollar moment at Yamava Resort and Casino at San Manuel. On November 29th, Yamava is giving away its biggest prize to date, $1 million, to one lucky Club Toronto member. That's right, $1 million. Qualify all month long by using your Club Toronto card at your favorite slots and table games. One entry is all it takes to become part of a million-dollar moment, only at SoCal's number one casino, Yamava Resort and Casino. The KFI Financial Report brought to you by Bay Alarm. The Dow closed down 9, S&P 500 up 11, NASDAQ up 70, and the average price of a gallon of regular gas in California is 470. With a range of commercial fire and security solutions, Bay Alarm can protect it all with just one call. Southland weather from KFI, sunny and windy tomorrow, high 70s to around 80. For Metro LA, upper 60s to around 80 in the valleys, upper 70s in inland OC, low to mid 70s in the IE. Right now, 65 in Dana Point, 75 in Anaheim, 72 West Hills, and 75 in Sherman Oaks. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Deborah Mark. Hey, yeah, Donnie Tesco, KFI, AM640, live everywhere in the iHeartRadio app. we got a lot to come this hour. Keith Gregory apparently has some more details about that smash and grab. It's become a hot new thing this week around the state. And the one that occurred in Southern California getting a lot of attention was at the Grove in the Fairfax district of Los Angeles, where a Nordstrom was robbed. We're going to start, though, with the very exciting super holiday getaway weekend travel report. Alex Stone, ABC News, is going to come on the air and give us a rundown about the people getting into cars or getting on planes and how it looks. Uh, it sounds like you're so excited, Ken. Yeah. Tell me more. Uh, you know, don't you love this assignment? <laughs> every, well, we didn't do it much last year, but uh, but every other year. You well, you're the travel that. guy. When it comes to planes, I see you're in the yeah, story. Yeah, so. yeah, no, I get, I get assigned all those. But the good news is that, uh, you know, with between the the labor issues of American Airlines and Southwest uh, that, that they had seen in, in recent weeks, and then the vaccine mandate for TSA workers that went into place on Monday, uh, nobody knew how it was really going to unfold. And it's going pretty well. It's still relatively early for people who are getting out of work uh, and then they're going to be traveling but uh, 98 flights that have been canceled in the u.s today that's pretty good compared to some thanksgivings where it's 1500 2000 when the weather is bad yeah, they, they, the weather's not too bad around the country I didn't no know the weather's today. not bad at all there was some worry last week that, that there was going to be weather uh this week creating problems but the uh, the biggest air impacted airline today american airlines they've canceled 29 flights as of this hour so if you're on one of those not good but overall uh, not too bad these folks uh, they're at lax and uh and they say so far so good i mean right now it's not too bad it, it'll probably get a lot crazier as the day go on though well we've got rocky Vader, we're seeing uh, what do you 
Yeah. 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 AAA is saying 48 million people traveling uh, over this weekend, way up from last year. Gas prices ridiculously high, but doesn't seem to be having much of an impact. If you look at the five right now, heading north through Sun Valley into the New Hall Pass, there are a lot of people who are uh, driving anyway. And then at the airport, they screened, uh, well, yesterday, 2.2 million people, the sixth day of over 2 million people a day. First time we've seen that since 2019, about 91% of pre-pandemic levels. And as I mentioned, Ken, this, this has been a test to see, all right, the labor problems of a few weeks ago that crippled American Airlines and Southwest. You bring all these people in now with all these flights, and can they keep up? And so far, so good that they've been able to do it. Uh, this is Scott Kirby, the, the CEO of United. One of the interesting things is the eight busiest travel days since the pandemic began are all going to happen between November 19th and November 30th. So they got a lot of pressure on them. Two things, though. Number one is the TSA is saying, cool it with the mask. Don't, don't be that guy that, that is going to fight them on it, that it is a federal mandate, that flight attendant that you're arguing with has no say over it. She cannot change the law on board that plane. And in the end, what they're doing now is you may take your trip and then in the mail you get a fine from the FAA for a few thousand bucks for not complying with the rules. And a lot of those are now going out. So in the end, you're going to lose. You're going to be fined or kicked off the flight, or they're going to divert because if the captain uh, decides that you're a big enough uh, pain in the neck that, that it's, if it gets that bad, they say, don't do that. The other thing the TSA is saying is, look, if you're checking a gun, uh, which is something that a lot of people do, you got to do it right. That They are seeing <laughs> record numbers of people try to go through the checkpoints with uh, weapons in their carry-on bags. There was one at the Atlanta airport a few days ago that when the screener reached into it, it went off, creating an active shooter stare, and people went bailing out everywhere. People were trampled. They got injured. They were all over the, the runway and taxiway. Uh, and they say that they've never seen the numbers this high. A lot of airports that you would expect, Denver, Dallas, Houston, where they're finding a lot. But they say, look, you got to check it. It can't be loaded. you got to declare it, and you got to do it right. And they say, if you're traveling with a gun, do it right. Wear the mask, and, and you're going to be okay. So far, no major mayhem story coming out? No, nothing that, that we've got today. Yeah, we don't know if anybody no flight punched. attendants punched. No. No, we don't know anybody who has punched the flight attendant today. Did you that hear about the thing. woman, though, that screamed, let's go, Brandon? <laughs> I'm sure there's been a few of those. A Vegas um, woman apparently wasn't taking any <laughs> didn't no, wear no, no pilots that we know of doing that today. <laughs> after that Southwest pilot a little while back. But, no, I mean, it's almost a daily occurrence now that that we get alerts that some flight has diverted because uh, some fight has uh, gone on on board. A lot of times going back to that. But, no, we haven't heard anything today. It has been very, very calm. Knock on the fake wood of this desk that, that we're going to be good. Sunday is going to be the big day. Everybody coming back all at once. Uh, and then we get into Christmas and New Year's travel. But uh, for all of the mayhem worries between staffing and the vaccine mandate for the, the PSA workers and everything, so far, so good. It, it looks pretty good. All right, Alex. Thank you for that update. All right. Have a good Thanksgiving. Uh, so that well, done. Hungry, I said hi. We will. ABC News for KFI on the uh, Thanksgiving travel report. What was it that you had, Deborah Mark, by mistake? What weapon was it? It was like a, uh, you mentioned it yesterday. Oh, that I had? An ice pick? Uh, I knew it was something bizarre, and I couldn't think of it right now. I knew. I knew. I, uh, who even owns an ice pack? <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> I remember, I think my parents had one when I was a kid. Just if you buy a huge flock of ice and you have to pick off the pieces. But I didn't now, use it for that. There's I such a thing as an ice cube maker and a, <laughs> you don't need an ice pick. <laughs> I know. I, I, it was back in the day. I don't know why. I think somebody suggested that I get that. Uh, this is a great story. They're mocking this woman. CBS and their dopey morning show. They had a psychologist on who suggested that the way the Thanksgiving Day host could make the situation fun was that they could they could serve appetizers in the garage until the test the guests get their rapid COVID nineteen test results back. <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me? Yes, have drinks and hors d'oeuvres in the garage while we wait for the COVID rapid test results. What? what but that makes no sense anyway because you're all together in a garage. That's true. They could be passing COVID because so the door is closed and. Right. I, thought, oh, I forgot to ask Alex. Dad, have you ever wondered how come we don't have 
vaccination requirements to get on planes. I mean, you're, you're inside a, a piece of metal for like hours. If you right. Like the front. And I, I think we know the answer. First of all, it's nationwide. It's not it's covered more by the FAA. And, and I, I think the airlines are saying, no, we, we're not going to do that. That's going to dissuade more, more business than we can afford right now. So I think that was kind of a consensus which is not going to make people show vaccination proof. Which, which makes me wonder, this crowd that's worried about their Thanksgiving gatherings, I guess they haven't gotten on a plane because nobody's showing COVID-19 test results or vaccination results, even though they're masking. That's not 100%, the worried people. All right, we've got more coming up right here on the Johnny Ten Show. Deborah Mark with the news update. Economists say they expect a solid economic rebound this quarter as long as rising inflation and a recent uptick in COVID-19 cases don't get in the way. Slovakia is going to go into a two-week lockdown because of a record surge in COVID cases. The lockdown starts tomorrow. Sweden's first female prime minister has quit just hours after being appointed to the job. She resigned because her coalition partner quit the government and her budget failed to pass. We have trouble on the 405, and we will check in with the KFI in the sky next. Termites love Southern California, and there are two kinds of termite seasons here. One, well, it's here all year long, and two, it's really termite season, and that's what's going on right now. If you see those little bugs flying around or what looks like small pieces of sawdust on the floor, termites. And I'm going to suggest you call Pacific Coast Termite for a free home inspection. Now, certain restrictions apply. When you use Pacific Coast Termite, no tenting, no double bagging your food, no pet sitting. I've tented before. It is a nightmare. You do not want to go there. You can actually be home while Pacific Coast Termite does its work. Try doing that with a tent over your house. Mention KFI, get 10% off for my treatments, two-year guarantee on their work. Call 800-PACIFIC, 800-PACIFIC. Visit PacificCoastTermite.com. Pacific Coast Termite, kill termite. The clean, friendly way. At MGM Resort, we know this is no time to return to normal. It's time to... It's time to... It's time to... It's time for the time of your life. In at MGM Southland weather from KFI. It's going to be sunny and windy tomorrow. We're looking at highs ranging from the upper 60s to around 80. This report brought to you by MGM Resorts. We have a stall on the 405 in Fountain Valley. This one is along the southbound side. Coming up at Warner, that's where middle lanes are blocked and delays are backing up out of Westminster getting away from Golden West. Let's head out to Industry with Mike O'Brien, KFI in the Sky, sponsored by Interior Attorney, Superwoman, Superlawyer.com. Trouble for the 605, Angel. 605 southbound, right at the 60, a little before Peck Road. Turning out of the carpool in the left lane, and it is just slammed from the 10, and you're not done yet. you got more slowing up ahead, pretty much from Whittier down through the 5 interchange. 605 northbound of Peck Road, they cleared a problem there. That's still very heavy from the 105. A lot of outbound travels, i got to tell you. The 15 northbound, that is jamming up pretty much from the 210 up to the 138. A lot of southbound travel on that 15 out of the high desert to the 138 as well out of this area. And a lot of folks heading to San Diego County. South 15, or I should say the South 5. South 5 loading up from Camp Pendleton down through Encinitas. Injured in an accident? Visit superwomansuperlawyer.com. Mike O'Brien, KFI in the Sky. KFI in the Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Inca Martinez. This report is sponsored by Grocery Outlet. The holidays are right around the corner. And your neighborhood Grocery Outlet is your one-stop shop for all your holiday needs. Enjoy big savings on your holiday meal at your local Grocery Outlet. If you thought you missed the lowest mortgage rates in history, you're in luck because they're back. Mortgage rates are near historic lows again. So if you have a mortgage, refinance it and forget it. You'll never have to worry about refinancing again. Network Capital Funding is offering a low 15-year fixed rate at 1.875% with a 2.01 APR. Incredible! Network Capital has built a reputation for saving people time and money with our unique process that's fast, simple, and secure. Our 15-year fixed rate is 1.875% with a 2.01 APR. Second chances don't come often, and you may never see these rates again. So 
refinance it and forget it. That's a 15-year fixed rate at 1.875%. Yes, 1.875% with a 2.01 APR. Call the experts at Network Capital now. Call 800-500-NUMBER-1-HIT. 800-501-HIT. As in home run, call now and save big on your refi. 800-500-1-HIT. 800-500-1448. Do you need a new water heater? Water heaters only. With over 53 years in business, offers low prices, quality same-day service, and 0% deferred interest financing. Visit waterheatersonly.com. That's waterheatersonly.com. Terms and conditions apply. As parents, we've done everything we can to keep our kids safe, happy, and healthy during this pandemic. From finding the best face masks, to making sure their hands are clean. And now we have the best tool to help keep them even safer. The most important thing we can do is vaccinate our kids to protect them against COVID-19. Vaccines have been proven safe and effective for children five and up. Talk to your child's doctor or visit myturn.ca.gov to find a vaccine near you. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Now through November 30th, during the BMW Ultimate Road Home Sales Event, see a Southern California BMW Center for a credit of up to $2,500 on select models. Visit bmwusa.com slash roadhome for details. At Napa, we keep things moving. In today's wheels and an engine, we help keep it on the road. And if it's on the road, we have parts for it. And if you need a part, you can get it fast, like same-day pickup or next-day delivery fast. At Napa, when we're not thinking about cars, we're thinking about the people who drive them. Because when it comes to serving you and our community, our motor never quit. That's Napa know-how. Same-day pickup and next-day delivery available for fitting stores and on big stock items only. Does the thought of you going to the dentist stress you out? Maybe you've avoided going for years because of bad experiences? Cutting Dental specializes in helping people have severe dental anxiety. Maybe people need major work from years of dental neglect. Now is the time to get it done. They're offering $1,500 off all major treatments. They're going to soothe all your fears. They'll do your dental work while you sleep with a, a gentle twilight sleep or even full anesthesia. They can repair years of neglect in one or two appointments. You simply wake up to a beautiful new smile and your teeth are fixed. And they can do everything. Dental implants, crowns, root canals, smile makeovers, and the new permanent teeth in just one day. Rebuilding smiles for more than 52 years with four generations of dentistry. Get $1,500 off major treatments and no money down payment plans. Call for details. Restrictions apply. Offer expires November 30th. And you can have curly whites for the holidays. Get $100 off Zoom teeth whitening. 888-640-SMILE. 888-640-SMILE. Cunning Dental. Making smiles great since 1968. Cunning Dental. Simply Dental. Now you listen to KFI. But when it's that time of year, you can hear your favorite Christmas music right now on the official holiday music station. Come 203.5.
So anyway, uh, also <laughs> in the news this afternoon, a guy that really, you know, should probably just uh, keep his mouth shut. Uh, Aaron Rodgers likes to go on a sports program. Uh, I guess a friend of his by the name of Pat Magazine. And uh, do some interviews. So, you know, after the whole COVID back and forth, because, of course, Aaron Rodgers claimed that he was uh, immunized, but he was referring to some sort of natural immunization, a homeopathic technique. He was not vaccinated. He was eventually put on the COVID-19 list and couldn't play for a couple of weeks. He comes back out and plays, and now he's got some sort of a toe injury. So he goes on this show today, and apparently he says he's suffering from COVID toe, which... As he said later, he was joking. It is a real thing. Uh, apparently, some people who have long haul COVID actually do have a condition that is referred to by some in the medical profession as COVID toe. It's like a, an inflammation that's caused with your body dealing with the COVID infection. But he cleared up the uh, story later on by saying he was kind of joking. Uh, I guess he just named it that, that he actually has a toe fracture. So that's really a weird go-around in the story. In an October 2020 analysis, researchers actually found that COVID toes could last, could last anywhere from 12 to 60 days with one long-hauler patient suffering from the condition for six months. Uh, he now says he's done with medical talk on the show. Yeah, it's probably best that way. The Wall Street Journal picked up on this quickly this morning and, and played it pretty seriously because there is such a thing for people who've had COVID-19 to have this kind of painful toe situation. Now he's calling it a fracture. He also says he's had turf toe, but he is saying now that uh, uh, he was just kidding around and came up with that expression. So, but people are paying, just athletes, you know, they're so important, especially star athletes. We have to lean in on anything they say. And then when Aaron Rodgers puts himself in the middle of the COVID the vaccination controversy, well, we got to lean in further. And so don't, don't talk. Just, you know, lie low for a while. What, what's the point? I mean, you think you're going to make the case and then something like this happens. Uh, not to mention you're getting your medical advice from Joe Rogan. All right. When I come back, I will be talking to Steve uh, Edwards from KFI News. I understand he has a little more information about what went down at the Grove the other yes, night at the uh, kind of upscale yes, shopping yes, center yes, on the west side. It's really in the Fairfax district of Los Angeles. If you've ever been there, the farmer's oh, market is there. Oh, it looks like it was one of those smash and grabs where a uh, group of people broke into a door oh, and took some stuff oh, and eventually were involved in a police chase and three were arrested. We'll see what Steve has been able to find out further. And as I mentioned, Rick Caruso is the man behind the grove. He's not going to put up with that. Uh, I hope he runs for mayor, by the way, or somebody steps up like him to run for mayor and deal with all.